What's up everybody, do right back at it again with another video on Ground Branch. Today we're going to be talking about a roadmap that was recently released to show off where they want to be. Now everything that's here is in the works, but they're not entirely sure if they're going to get it finished in time, you know, where this roadmap is going to be, but this is what they're working on essentially. It says here, Welcome to the Ground Branch Early Access Roadmap. This board is a general outline of upcoming content and improvements. It is not our final or 100% comprehensive list of features. So here is the 1030 update that I covered in depth in a different video but just to uh summarize it here they've got the new character assets players which i'll put the links at the top right of all the stuff that i talked about in 1030 in depth like but anyways new weapons m24 sws fal custom and the g3a3 animations locomotion update vaulting update which the vaulting update already came out but they're actually adding the animations to it first pass new stance prone encumbrance system interactive lights okay cool so that's 1030 which again i made two videos about you can watch them at the top right. Very in-depth, very in-depth videos. Up next, we got 1031 to 1032. They got a new weapon, the M11 OK-1, which I'm assuming is the one that they showed off in the 1030 update. They also got the playable female characters. Pretty cool. An update to the weapon reloads, weapon mechanic collision work, weapon bracing and supporting. So wait, is that like you walk up to cover and you could actually like put the gun on the cover? Neat. Mag check. Ooh, the first they've talked about that. New character assets, op four. Neat. Ready room variants. Hmm. What could they add to the ready room? Like actually being able to pick up fucking coffee cups. That'd be funny. <laughs> uh, shoulder tapping. Oh, cool. Like when you need to like get close and breach into a room. Updated door window functionality. I mean, as far as I can tell, there aren't really any windows. I'm speculating here, but does this mean we'll be able to open up windows or blow windows open? Especially if they're made out of metal. What an interesting thought. Wait, wouldn't that mean that they like add thermite to the game? That'd be pretty cool. I mean, you can already like destroy doors with the... Uh, uh, C4 blast, I think it is. I was actually killed on stream with one of those uh, yesterday. Oh. Oh my god. But anyways, armor system, melee, which yeah, there's no melee in the game. Like you get close enough to somebody and the gun just like goes up and it's just like a freaking like you feel like a Muppet just bumping into each other. That's what it kind of feels like. Insertions and extractions. Oh, new game mode. Neato. Hand signals. Oh, light sticks. So you know what area you already cleared, I'm assuming? Infrared illuminator. Player inventory system. Huh. I wonder what kind of system they're going to have. Is it going to be like Escape from Tarkov? Or uh, Dead Matter or uh, Dead Sides? I wonder. Marketplace content. They're probably going to buy a couple of maps because some of the maps that are in Ground Branch are actually from the Market Store, which is not a bad thing, you know? I mean, they do change up the maps. I actually suggested that they should just turn the subway system into its own level because I really love that subway system. The city on top, not so much. I think they could definitely improve on that. But yeah, like they just need to add like more vehicles out there. Like make it look like there's an actual traffic jam or something. So that way it gives us a reason to use the vaulting system more, you know, vault over vehicles to get to the buildings. But yeah, and then it says new map number three, number four four and new multiplayer map three and two it just says like a bunch of new maps level art update and cleanup okay and then it says a bunch of character voices at the very end you got the character sfx gear motion gear so is that like anytime that you put on a a, a piece of gear you hear like a little noise that'd be kind of cool uh, oh it's actually gear movement whenever you're moving around you hear the gear like clamping on your body. Neat. Blue four voices male, blue four voices female, up four voices Arabic, up four voices Russian. Ooh. SFX gunshots, updated acoustic sounds, I'm assuming, positioning, sound optimization. Yeah, so this is the roadmap. This is cool. I love this. I love this. And you know, if you guys need a voice actor, I'm here. I'll definitely hop in there and be like, hey, take cover, contact, lay down suppressing fire, lay down suppressing fire, thumb hit, take cover, suppressing fire, contact, run. You know, do that kind of shit so looking at this picture i just realized that there's an actual trailer that you can click on god i'm an idiot <clears throat> continuing on animations they got dedicated npc ai motions and poses player interaction animations animation iteration and cleanup when it comes to item and customizations they've got general model revision new updated character heads male new weapon the mk17 scar h Ooh, another new weapon the mk is that a four or five? Oh, that's a 1911. I didn't even know. What? Cool. New weapon, MK46. Oh, snap. That's the saw. Oh, geez. Nice. Another one, they got the PKM, the AKM, some nice weapons. The G36K custom, new equipment rangefinder, customizable weapon parts, stock, handguns, and barrel length. Ooh. 
Ooh. Customizable attachment colors, and then they got a breaching shotgun. Nice. When it comes to the visual and effects department, it says updated night vision effects, updated smoke effects, updated explosion effects, updated weapon effects, weather system. Oh, cool. Weather system. That'd be cool. Team roster and character backstories. What? Backstories? Blood effects, spray splatter, and pooling. Cool. Game modes. Extraction. They're decided between PvE and PvP. Why not both? Last stand PvE. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what that's going to be like. Game mode raid shadow oh fuck. uh pve i'm not sure what that's supposed to be what's these had descriptions oh they do oh snap the raid mode will consist of a quick hit small area target takedown scenarios these raids should take place in spaces that require no more than a few minutes to complete they may be sections of bigger maps or completely new maps unique to this mode raids will be limited to four players interesting there's another game mode battle buddy it's a pvp ve so people versus people versus ai up to four teams of two players fight against each other and against AI enemies. Oh, that sounds like a cool, that sounds really cool. Battle buddies. What an interesting name. Let's look at the description for Last Stand. A cooperative horde-like mode where you and your team have to hold off a perimeter against waves of enemies or die trying. Oh man, that sounds fun. I want to play that. Uh, let's look at Extraction. Rescue prisoner from enemy hands and escort them to safety in this co-op and possibly PvP game mode. I could definitely see it in PvP. Just so long as you can't actually kill- well, just so long as you try not to kill the hostage. Because I feel like that's been happening like way too often. Like you need to somehow balance that. When it comes to interfaces, which we actually saw in 1030, what the UI is going to look like when you're editing your guy. It says here, new weapon customization screen, new character customization screen. And then we got a basic tutorial system. It has a description. Similar setup to Insurgency Sandstorm with a short video clip showing off features and small descriptions. Neat. And then it just says localization after that, which I'm not entirely sure what that means. Up next, we got AI. Updated detection system site. Refined AI site detection so that it better accounts for ambient light, e.g. worse detection at night, distance movement, concealment, camouflage, and suspicious signatures, flashlights, visible lasers. Nice. After that, it says updated AI behavior. Let's take a look at the description. General AI behavior improvements, fair enough. Uh, squad and friendly AI commands. Yeah, so they said at some point they want to add a mode where you can actually go on with friendly AIs and actually command them. It says here, squad AI that player can control in single player, which I don't believe that there's actually a single player featured in Ground Branch right now but i mean there kind of is but it's not really fleshed out just yet and now we've got miscellaneous listen servers which i don't know what that means linux dedicated server for the people who play linux analytical system it has a description here utilize epics analytical backend which i don't know what that is and mod support which i'm sure a lot of people will get a kick out of that and the last thing that we have here is a custom map editor which i feel is desperately needed in a lot of these types of games and man whoo that is one heck of a roadmap you got there yeah a lot of these had descriptions that i missed and some other updates but you know what i'll just put a link in the description down below if you guys want to check it out for yourself there is still a lot of things that i missed so i'd suggest you go and check it out major major updates coming through but it's nice that they actually have this here so wow what a, what a what a roadmap that was they actually put it on a trailer now for everybody to look at and yeah i really can't wait i really can't wait it's gonna be really fun i can tell the last thing that i want to say before i go is that in the discord one of the developers was talking about adding in a bleeding system and a system where you can actually heal yourself with an IFAC or infantry field aid kit IFAC for short. This is a thing that was featured in Escape from Tarkov and it's basically there to heal your wounds and stuff. So I definitely welcome that if they decide to do something like that. I mean they already have like a weight system so why not add a bleeding system right? So go ahead and tell me what your thoughts are. I'm definitely excited for this game's future and I'm thinking about doing more giveaways in the near future. So tell me your thoughts. If you like the fact that I cover tactical games like Ground Branch then go ahead and like the video, share, and comment comment down below. If you're someone that's new, subscribe and ding the bell. Stick around, you never know. You might find something that you like on the channel. Just give it some time. If you would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just send two bucks a month. It really helps. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.